get fun games. So that's just how it is whenever you're climbing out a great ball. You always find some wacky stuff. But I don't know what I want to team build around next season. Like, you guys got any ideas? What's up, Andrew? How you doing? Chris, rank 9. Any tips to build a team around Cramorant? Any niche in using them? I haven't even looked at Cramorant yet. Um, it's been a while. I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know if there's any niche for it. Uh, we would have to take like a pretty dedicated look at it to see what it could figure, what, what it could do, like what I could figure out for it. Um, but that seems like a rough, <laughs> that seems like a rough task that I would not envy anyone doing. I'm sure we could do something though. Yeah, they hate Incineroar. We'll do this. I think Landris Grimmsnarl is pretty good. We got Kyogre, we got Incineroar. Like, most of most of their team gets walled by ours, funny enough. Like, their best Pokemon versus our team is probably the Zapdos. But yeah, Cramorant seems kind of rough for this format. Um, it resists Behemoth Blade, which is kind of cool. I don't know what else. You would, if you were going to use it, I would probably recommend... Building it to be, like, super, super defensive. <laughs> what about Surf and Water Absorb Gastrodon? That's the thing. Like, two water types is never that great. Even if they don't share any weaknesses. Like, just defensively, not having very many switch-ins to grass moves. Because they're neutral. Because Cramorant's like a neutral for grass moves, you know? It just, it just never seems great to have two water types in a team. Even if it's, like, water flying and water ground i think the only way you can justify that is for like swift swim stuff solar blade zacian uh i don't think solar blade's ever necessary on zacian like behemoth blade and play rough do plenty to kyogre a bold prediction but special special on the uh was it special on the rayquaza is going to be my guess here Here's the airlock. Um, swords dancing seems pretty scary. Can I swords dance? I mean, if they're physical, I can. If they're not, I'm in trouble. I think I'm just going to Dynamax. I think that what they want to do is Tailwind and um, go for Meteor Beam. I don't see them going physical on this sort of team. They have They have too many physical attackers if they do. So we played Zacian couldn't break Quagsire? Or do you mean it could break Quagsire? How's my not duck? How you doing? Alright, yeah. If they didn't Dynamax, I think they probably Meteor Beamed. Or that. That's fine. Or Gamering, yes. Charm? Oh, that is not very baller. Luckily, I still have that. <laughs> Luckily, that's a thing. Okay, uh, for this next turn, I want to never, ever, ever have to deal with that <laughs> deal with that Whimsicott again. So I'm actually going to airstream the Whimsicott and Spirit Break. Smash or pass tier list for the most used VGC mons? I could never. Alright, I'm pretty sure this will KO. Even at minus two, it should still do a lot to Whimsicott. Whimsicott's not the bulkiest Pokemon. They're going to Dynamax. Yeah, I'm not terribly concerned with their damage output. Like I said, I got a light screen off and they're at minus one attack. So whatever they do, it's not going to be that strong. And once this uh, Whimsicott's gone, I feel comfortable getting off a of Reflect. They Charm again, that's fine. I think this will KO. The double up. Yeah, that'll KO. Awesome. Also, Grim Snarl might be faster than the Rayquaza at plus two. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, let's go. 
Awesome. So Whimsicott's dealt with. Also, I, I have Swords Dance on my Lando, so we don't even really have to switch. I'm gonna Wormwind. Okay, maybe we have to switch. That also seems to be a special attack. Judging by the damage. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, because it's intimidated, it would have been a lot less. And their Life Orb. Okay. Um, depending on what comes out here, that's gonna that's gonna inform our next attack. I think what I'm gonna do is just quake whatever's next to the Rayquaza and go for a. Uh... Okay, so quaking's off the table. Quaking is in fact off the table. Okay. I can't quake anything. That sucks, man. That sucks. Uh, let me go for a. I'm gonna switch in the Incineroar here. And I'm going to Spirit Break you. What gimmick do you want for Gen 9? I, ha I have no clue. I, I think I just want a good game, to be honest. I think that's the gimmick I want, is good gameplay. Which would involve no gimmick at all. I did a decent amount for being at minus one. They're gonna Wormwind us. Yeah, it seems like that's a special attack. So now I'm gonna Spirit Break the Zapdos and Snarl. Just really ruin their day here, really crap in their cornflakes. They do pretty much nothing to Grim Snarl here. Yeah. Uh, let's go for the... Actually, I can Parting Shot. I think I kind of want to... I think I kind of want to do this. This Parting Shot's going to go after the Rayquaza. And I can go for um, a Spirit Break into the Zapdos. Yeah, yeah, no. This is going to be a very awesome play. Oh, they detect? Lame. Lame still be fine. Plus the airstream here. Okay, they do airstream. But I'm still Scarf Ogre, so it's like, whatever. <clears throat> now, now my play is... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what that was. Now my play is just going to be to Snarl. But that really sucked. I think regardless... Um, Incineroar survives this interaction. Actually, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. This is my play. This is my play right here. Snarl you and fake tears the Zapdos so, so Grim Snarl does something before it goes down. That's my play. That's my play. Because he should 100% take out the Grim Snarl here. Dynamax is 100% the least fun mechanic in uh, in VGC. To answer your question, like Z moves, tolerable. Mega Evolution, fun. Dynamax, just insufferable, dude. There's the Heat Wave. I don't think that KOs. Yeah, no, that was lame. Okay, <laughs> this is actually gonna do a chunk. That's kind of funny. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna do anything. All right, let me go for a Snarl and a Fake Tears on the Rayquaza. We're going to do that now, I guess. Earth Power. Is that KO me? No, I didn't think so. How much is this Snarl going to do? Cinera dodges, Grim Snarl uh, goes down, which is good. How much is this doing? Respectable amount. Enough where they should be concerned. And that's all I care about. Okay. I'm going to get in my Kyogre. Um, I could lock in Water Spout. Or not Water Spout. Origin Pulse. 
And that's actually probably fine. Like, I think I just snarl an Origin Pulse. And regardless of what happens, I'm fine. Like, even if they outspeed me. Since they're at plus one. They could be, like, modest, though. In which case, I outspeed. Obviously, I can miss this. But if I don't, good game. really thinking here. He's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought the ho in the back. Maybe that was a mistake. Don't miss. Alright, thanks. Uh, that Zapdos is gone. Nice. And like I said, I think they brought Ho-Oh in the back. That's just my guess. Yeah, they brought the Ho-Oh in the back. What a shame. Okay, my play here is actually going to be to Parting Shot, you, and Origin Pulse again. In case they, you know, somehow KO my Kyogre at the very least, I get another Intimidate. Or another two Intimidates, because Lando's still almost at full health, I think, if not full health. I actually forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yep. They're not timid. Or they're not full speed. That is game-ish. It's going to be another turn, apparently. Is that AV hole? That's got to be AV to live that, right? Like, there's no other set that does that. Banded? Unless it's just regular damage. I don't know. We're going to check his team out. I think that's AV. There's no way it takes that. Oh, no, 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 no. Airlock. That's why. So that might actually be banded. Because that was a lot of damage. I forgot about airlock. <laughs> How was my interview? My interview went great. I think it did really, really good. Okay. Yeah, that should be game now. Light screen wears off. I'm gonna go for the rock slide into the origin pulse. There's no way I missed both of these. And that should be it. Nice. Oh, man. Whew. I'm a sleepy, silly guy. Okay. Already at 47 viewers. Thank you, guys. Probably like Grim Snarl, Ho, -Oh, Kyogre would be a good, good comp for it. I could see a Lando on that team too, like a, a pretty similar team to what we're running. All right, um, I like Ferrothorn and Grim Snarl on lead. Uh, beyond that, Dialga actually doesn't seem that bad, and I can go Kyogre. Yep, we'll do that. <clears throat> Moxie, uh, what do you do when you have a team that's fire and does great, but then it isn't and just starts losing to everything? Well, usually I live stream. Diego, 5D, how you doing, dude? How you doing? No, I'm kidding. Uh, so... Typically, that's just a matter of getting used to the team. Like, was it doing good in-game and now it's doing bad, like, on cartridge or something? Okay. Uh, my number one priority here, our whip this guy, is going to be to light screen as I'm not terribly concerned with Seismitoad. Since Power Whip should be doing a ton. I could Dynamax technically and one-shot it, but it's not worth it. If you don't know, Seismitoad's typically physical. Really cool Seismitoad's picking up.
Like, water ground's just such a good typing for it offensively. Get the light screen off. Uh, that's going to help us eat the water spout here. Hopefully I don't miss. Last time we had a pretty rough run of it when it came to uh, when it came to Ferrothorn landing these things. Okay, I might need to reflect next turn on my actions, that is. Life Orb. Water Spot. Okay. That did more than I hoped. I connect. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. We're gaming. I might Dynamax my Ferrothorn to flex. Just a thought. Just a silly, goofy thought. Okay, but what if? But, but realistically speaking, once that happens, what do they have? What do they have for it? Light, right? Right? Like, are you guys, are you guys with me here? Let me protect. And get off this reflect. And I will gladly hand over my dude. Not my Pharaoh, hopefully. Here's the airstream. Probably into... Oh, into Grimmsnarl. That's fine. I dodge all damage with Ferrothorn, which is really all I wanted. Because I might Dynamax this guy. I might Dynamax this guy, dude. Or I might let him KO himself. Like, that's an option, too. Huh. Oh, what do I do here? Uh, I think what I want to do is Dialga is much better in the end game, but so Kyogre is also quite nice. I think I'll go Kyogre here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Kyogre here. Should I Dynamax a Ferrothorn? I kind of want to Dynamax a Ferrothorn, honestly. On a, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Dynamax the Ferrothorn, just because it's funny. L strictly for funny reasons. Uh, and we'll Origin Pulse here. Actually, no, because regardless of what happens, Thunder into the Kyogre is the correct play. Because Seismitoad dies this turn. This is going to be funny. Me when I should have been running AV Ferrothorn from the start. Me when I should have max whipped this uh, this Seismitoad turn one. Like, that should have been my play. Hey, Biscuit, thank you so much for gifting the sub. Max Quake, good one. I laugh at you. I laugh at you. You have handed over both of your Pokemon. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Check this out, check this out. Seismitoad, gone. What are you going to do? You're going to Water Spout because your Choice Scarf. Oh, how am I faster? I guess it's not Scarf. Okay, well, Kyogre's gone. And I still have my Kyogre, which I might actually switch out. He is very big looking. He's quite the lad. That thing's gone. Okay, dang, I should have locked, like, Origin Pulse. Could be Modest Scarf? That's true. That's true. That's true. No, no, because if it was Scarf, it would still, it would still be faster, even if it was Modest. Because he went for an Airstream. There's the Rillaboom. There's the Rillaboom. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Rillaboom hit the field as well as Zacian. I am going to max guard here. 
and attempt to thunder the Zacian. Because I'm probably just going to get Sacred Sorted. Or Grassy Glide, that's fine. Basically, I want to make sure I live the Sacred Sword and can Earth Power the Zacian, because it should go down. Close combat. Okay, yeah, no, I should win this if they just let me hit the Zacian once. And I'm getting some mad recovery. Okay. Go Dialga. I just I just always Earth Power here, and I think I win. Because I got both my screens up. I got a Dynamax Ferrothorn. We're just gaming. Like, profusely. Does Max Knuckle do more or Overgrowth? With Stab and Terrain, Overgrowth does more than Knuckle. And I always double Zacian. Substitute? Good one. <laughs> this should do a decent amount. I just have to focus Zacian down for a while. Go ahead and knock off. I'm just going to be dueling. I I'm still going to KO the Zacian from this range, but now I'm not taking recoil, so I'm cool with it. Yo, respectable damage from the Ferrothorn? Hello, thank you. The rain has stopped, but the terrain's still up, so I'm cool with this. Um, If they have close combat and they have substitute, they need to have Behemoth Blade. And I would assume they have Play Rough, so I think maybe they don't have Protect. Because <coughs> it's kind of hard to drop Play Rough in this format. You know, with Palkia and Eveltal running around. Um... So yeah, no, if if they if I think if they close combat Dialga or close combat Barathorn, both situations I win, I think. Oh, and I live? Huge? Huge? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Not a chance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here's the knockoff. Too little, too late. <coughs> Good luck breaking Ferrothorn. It's not going to happen. Actually, I suppose he could technically break Ferrothorn, but he would take way too much damage in the process. Really? I haven't seen like any Zashi without play rough. Okay. Uh, my play here is going to be to protect to get a little bit more recovery. Because I'm about to give up all of my recovery. Actually, let me think. Is Iron Defense... I, I... I lose both forms of recovery here, so I Iron Defense. Because they knock off. I'm going to take some recoil. And that should be win unless they crit me. Remember when your Ferrothorn was about to die? Nah, I don't remember. That, that's that's false. That is just false entirely. <coughs> okay, Grassy Terrain runs out. There it is. And now I should win by Body Press, because I really doubt they have high horsepower or any move that is useful here. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Awesome. Also, I'm trying to accept this, trying to approve this tip. All right, anyways, we got, a non, we got an anonymous tip of $13.37, and it came through my Streamlabs, but it's not letting me put through the notification to say thank you. But thank you to whoever tipped that. I appreciate you a ton. Are you going to see your Ferrothorn go down? No. You won't live to. Okay, um, this team really, really, really doesn't like Landorus. Actually, one thing really, really, really likes it, now that I think about it. That, that Articuno could be kind of annoying. I think I have to lead off Grimmsnarl here. Actually, Grimmsnarl Dialga looks like a really heat lead. 
And I think I just bring my Kyogre and my Lando in the back, and that's fine. I feel good about that. Dude, there are only 400-something people in Master Ball. I can't get a match at all. Yeah, that happens sometimes at the beginning of the season. I always find it funny. Like, literally everyone... Everyone at the beginning of the season, like, will camp out the ladder until midnight. It's less common now, but we used to see it a lot more. They'll camp out the ladder until midnight. And then just spam games and try to win as many as they can to get number one. Basically before anyone even gets to Master Ball. So number one in Master Ball is pretty achievable. <laughs> At the beginning of the season for like everyone <coughs> but uh getting it like mid-season or late season super hard thank you king scourge i appreciate you all right grim snarl and dialga okay 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 here's my play here's my play i'm gonna get my Reflect off. And I'm gonna max... Actually, I think max Wormwind is technically my play into you. Because it might KO a weaker a weaker set. Um, and it also catches anything that might try to switch in on a Quake unless it's... Okay, yeah, no, that, that should do a decent amount. If it doesn't KO, it's gonna be a little bit annoying because <laughs> it's gonna get a boost. Yeah, it's kind of easy to get number one when there are five people there, yeah. Hopefully we just one-shot with this, because if we don't, we're going to have some issues. I am not running the Thunder Wave. I'm running fake tears. <laughs> hey, Max, good game, dude. I really like the uh, Rayquaza Hoa thing. I think that's really sweet. All right. Okay, yeah, we get the one shot. That's fine. We're good. We're gaming. I no longer have to deal with the repercussions of my actions. <coughs> and he has no max quake switchins either. And also, it's like we intimidated him. So, good game. Good game. Man, the Articuno could have at least done something. Give me a thumbnail. <laughs> You know, I, I wouldn't mind a thumbnail here. Um, I'm going to get in my Lando. And I'm going to go for a Steel Spike onto... Do I want to go for it onto you or you? I think I want to go for it onto the Groudon. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have to sign up for the Moltres tournament too. I already got my Zapdos, so I like a care less, but Moltres, I like that one too. I like that one too. That one's kind of cool Pokemon. They're gonna Dynamax. Yes, very selfish to not contribute content. I agree. How much do you think my my Lando's gonna take from Behemoth Blade? My guess is gonna be 30 to 40%. Thirty percent. Awesome. 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 And now he's gonna take less. Pretty cool. Very poggers. Very poggers. This quake shouldn't do much. Yeah, that that just that just kinda bounced off, honestly. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I can Earthquake since uh, we're Telepathy, and I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna Warm Wind, because I just think it's funnier. <laughs> it also does more than Steel Spike. 
<clears throat> and we get another forfeit. Awesome. Yeah, no, Dialga can be really oppressive when it Dynamaxes. Like, it's such a fun Pokemon to Dynamax behind screens. Because it's like, how do you break it? Usually you don't. Usually. Sometimes, sometimes they do. Sometimes they break it pretty easily.